Hi, Cancer. This is going to be your career and financial outlook for the next three months. So I'm going to be taking a look at January, February, and March of 2022. I'll take a quick peek at December as well, just to see where the energy's at, um, maybe bring through some messages that you need to hear. Uh, a couple of weeks ago, I uploaded the 2022 forecasts. So if you haven't checked that out, you may want to. Um, these readings actually inspired me to offer that as a private reading. So if you're interested in that, um, the readings will be looking at their energy month to month um, for the full year. I do have a 45 minute uh, option and an hour and a half option, which is obviously a lot more in depth. Um, you can book that on my website. I'm going to leave a link in the pinned comment down below. You can also go to my website to um, subscribe to my newsletter. I'll in also include links to my social media accounts on Instagram and Facebook if you want to connect with me there. Um, all right, you guys, these are going to be general messages and they are not going to resonate with everyone. So please keep that in mind. Um, in the description box, I do have the majority of the decks that I use on the channel listed with the link next to each one. That'll direct you to my Amazon store so you can go on there and browse if you like. All right, so I pulled a rune for you and it's the disruption rune. Um, this is very much like the tower. So what I'm getting, and don't fear it, it doesn't have to be bad. Um, what I'm feeling is there is going to be some sort of disruption for you, but it's actually for your own good. Um, I am feeling that you are unhappy either in career or with your financial situation, perhaps both, but I do feel that for some of you, um, you've been feeling a bit stagnant. You love the security, perhaps, of your job situation, your career, but it's not satisfying you. And so this is a message that it's time to move on. And if you don't make that choice willingly, the universe will make it for you. That is what's coming through. Very, very specific. So now I'm going to get a message from the Moonology. And what this says, it's a new moon energy, and it says you and your loved ones are safe. Um, what I'm getting from this is, yes, there is a disruption coming in as far as career or finances. Um, but you're safe, you're protected, everything is going to work out for you. Um, like I said, um, with the changes that are coming in are for your best and highest good. If you decide not to take action, like I said, the universe is going to take action. But it's all going to work out for you, Cancer. This is a pretty intense way to start the reading. Now I'm getting a message from the Energy Oracle deck, and this is action. Yeah, exactly what I was saying. It's time to take action. If you've been unfulfilled, um, then yeah, it's, it's time to figure out a plan. And you don't have to do it overnight. Um, also, if your finances are not where you want them to be, it's really time to think about that and take action um, on that as well. So let's see what else is coming through. I did just see fork in the road and that's the energy I'm feeling for you. This is the Wisdom Oracle. Ooh, milk and honey, you guys. This is my favorite card in this deck. This, um, I don't know if you can see it. It's a little elephant in a bowl of milk and honey, and there's a rainbow, you know, over him or her. And this is very much like the Ten of Cups energy to me. This is about happily ever after. All your dreams are realized. Um, you know, a lot of satisfaction. And so really what this is saying is that by taking action, you are going to be able to um, make your dreams come true in career and finance. So really, really positive energy. Okay. 
And I did just see happy success coming through. Ooh, we've got the commitment card. And this is really, um, this is next to milk and honey. And so what I am sensing here is it is time to take action on your dreams. Be committed to it. Um, be committed to realizing your dreams and you can make them come true. That is what's coming through. Really, really positive. Now I'm pulling, um, oh, that was from the Quantum Oracle, you guys. Now I am pulling from the archetype cards. And so I wanna see what archetype you may be embodying in the next three months when it comes to work and finance. What do we need to know for cancer? And these cards are not cooperating. Oh my gosh, you guys. <laughs> this is why I don't like to shuffle on camera because this happens and there's nothing I can do. I, I will not select a card for you. Okay, finally, my gosh. Very interesting. Okay, um, so we've got beggar. <clears throat> Light attributes confronts empowerment at the level of physical survival, awakens the spiritual authority of humility, compassion, and self-esteem. This is so interesting. The shadow attribute is dependence on others to the exclusion of effort. Um, so what I am feeling is that in order to for you to feel um, very empowered when it comes to taking control of your career and your finance, it is um, going to be really important for you to just grab those reins, take action, follow your heart. Um, and you know, not not stay in this place of um, apathy. That's kind of what I'm feeling. Apathy. It's like, yeah, it's okay. It could be better. Um, so yeah, there are big changes coming up for you. You are being asked to make a move. So now I am looking at December. Wow, okay. So Cancer, you're really struggling. You are really struggling with this decision about how to move forward as far as career because we've got the Seven of Swords, we've got the Five of Cups, and we've got the Two of Pentacles. Um, so yeah, I just feel like you're not making any progress with the seven of swords coming through. It's almost like you don't want to face, um, you don't want to face it. Um, you know, you need to make a move, but you don't really want to face it. Um, so yeah, it's, you're focused on the, um, the past disappointments you're not really able to look to the future just yet and so you're really going back and forth so let's take a look at january beautiful very interesting um we got the two of cups for you in january and this is about partnership um, this could be allies and the same card, the same message came through for Gemini. So those of you that are on the cusp of Gemini, you may want to take a look at that reading. It's um, their, their readings have been amazing. Um, so I do feel like a partnership in is at hand. Um, 
you know, it doesn't have to be formal, but this is some sort of ally who's going to help you. Um, and it's really interesting because we've got the Six of Pentacles. And in a way, this is also about partnership. It's like I scratch your back, you scratch mine. It is about reciprocity um, and generosity. And so I feel that when the new year comes, um, starts that um, you are going to be meeting with someone. Um, you may already know them, but it's some sort of ally that's coming in for you. And they are going to be very generous with their advice, um, with their time. Uh, this is this is really beautiful. And I am sensing that in the month of January, if you have been feeling constricted as far as finances, that is going to change. That's going to balance out. There's going to be an increase um, because to me, this is a card of success. And we've got the fool. Um, really interesting. This is about taking a risk, stepping out of your comfort zone, and definitely taking action. And so you are absolutely being called to take action um, in the first quarter of, or the first month of the year in January. It is going to bring success. It's going to bring balance. And I just feel that um, you, it's going to lighten up your energy. It's going to be, um, you're going to be feeling a sense of relief, uh, relief and just to make some changes is what, is what I'm getting. And I feel like the changes are really going to pay off. Um, and you know, Jim and I, so for those of you that are on the cusp, their December reading was big risks, big rewards, something like that. And that's the energy that I'm feeling for you. It's like go big or go home. It's like it's time to, to really go for it, really go for what you want. Let's look at February. Ooh, very strong energy. To major arcana we're getting a lot of major arcana for you cancer so i do feel like there are some spiritual lessons that you're going to be learning as far as following your heart when it comes to career knowing when something has played out knowing when to take action and make a change there's a lot of spiritual support for you here as well um so when we look at february we've got the king of cups this is amazing um I love seeing the King of Cups because the Kings are about self-mastery. They've gone through it. They've gone through the trials, the tribulations, the worries, the lack of confidence, the lack of, um, you know, not believing in themselves, not trusting their um, themselves. Um, this is about intuition and a deep knowing because it is a Cups card and you're very, very intuitive. And so I just sense by the time you get to February, you're going to be trusting yourself more. You're really going to be relying more and more on your intuition. And perhaps maybe this is something that this ally um, is really um, instilling in you is just listening to your own inner wisdom when it comes to career and finances. And then we've got the magician. This is about having the tools, the skills, the knowledge to really go for it, to really create what it is you're wanting to create. Very powerful, powerful energy. There is a sense of magic. Um, you know, this is this is about creation. Um, you know, just this is such a confident card. And then we've got the world card coming through. So just amazing. The world card is about successful completion. It's like success. It's a happy ending. And these are two major arcana. So I just feel like when you listen to your intuition, you really rely on it. You really trust it. Um, you make these heart-based um, decisions. 
and then you really go after what you're passionate about, it is going to lead to success. So I feel like um, the in January, um, you're trying you're trying to figure it out a little bit, and then you decide to make a change. And the change really that you make really leads to a lot of success. So this is this is very very positive. Lots of cups energy. So I feel like that's your intuition. Okay, so now we're going to look at March. Okay, so as far as March, we've got the Seven of Cups, and this is about a lot of options, a lot of opportunities. So back in January, we got the Fool. By taking this leap of faith, it's going to open up doors for you. There are going to be a lot of options as far as... Um, you know, really building what you're wanting to build as far as career and finance. And this is amazing. We got the Knight of Wands, which is about being enthusiastic, energetic, really driven, determined, excited. Uh, so when these doors, when these opportunities start coming in for you, um, you're going to get out of that um, apathetic, mindset um, even before this even before this it's like you're going to be ready to go and it's interesting because we've got two depictions of horses here and so i feel like this is really fast progress that you're going to be making now with the nine of wands coming through this is um a card um, an energy of trials and tribulations this is the wounded warrior i'm feeling like don't let the past hold you back that's what's coming through for me don't let the past hold you back um th all of these opportunities are going to be you know wonderful for you and so it's a matter of choosing wisely but don't get so hung up on the choice on making a decision that you move into analysis paralysis okay and don't take any action um, we've got the six of wands because you're going to be very successful this is victory um this is public recognition and so uh, one of these opportunities could lead to a lot of publicity for you um, it, or you could be acknowledged in some way is what I'm feeling like. So it looks really good. At the bottom of the deck, we've got the King of Pentacles. And, you know, again, um, the Kings are about self-mastery. This energy is like I've made it to the top of my game. Um, this guy inspires everybody. It's almost like they say, well, how how did he do it or how did she do it? It's just an energy. I'm just saying he because it's a king. But how did they do it? How did they get to this place? And so I feel like you could be moving into the pinnacle of your career um, if you make a change. It's going to be a very good change for you. Um, it's going to change everything. And it's going to change your financial situation as well, because this is also a card of abundance. So, all right, Cancer, I hope that you enjoyed this. Thank you so much for joining me today. And if you enjoyed the video, please like, share, subscribe, leave a comment and hit the little bell if you want to be notified when I upload new content. I am sending you lots of love as you continue on your journey. Bye-bye.